It's Messy Church. It's Messy Church. Yeah. I like it, Messy. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Messy Church Online for this October. Hasn't the weather changed a lot lately? It's getting a lot colder and darker at night, isn't it? And some people are afraid of the dark and of the night time and this time of year in general. But don't worry, no need to be. And we'll explain later why that is, because today we're looking at a special psalm or a song in the book of the Bible called Psalm 23. And it tells us we don't have to be frightened because God goes with us wherever we go. But more about that later. Now, this is a very famous psalm and it talks about the Lord being our shepherd. And I've got my picture here, which I will show you in my close up camera. And that's of sheep. And um, I'm not sure if they show up very well on the green paper. Perhaps I could have done with a slightly darker green. But I tell you what we'll do to make them show up a bit better is I might make the next lot grey, okay? I'll show you how I made these, and perhaps you can make them too at home. Really easy. I expect you've done this before. This is called potato printing. And here is my potato, which I've cut lengthways down here. Best to get a grown-up to do that for you. Can be very tricky, especially if the knife, knife is sharp. And, uh, and then what you can do, or what your grown-up can do for you, is just nick around the edges just to make it a bit more sheep-like. But actually, don't worry if you can't do that, or your grown-up's not keen on doing that, because the shape of the potato is actually quite sheep-shaped anyway. Sheep-shaped. Because, because it could be a very fluffy sheep. Ooh, there goes my potato. A very slippery sheep too. But it's all right, I've still got this one. So it doesn't matter if you can't put any detail on the printer. Just to be honest, we're going to make so much mess with the paint anyway. So what I'm going to do is, like I said, um, I might, this is going to be really messy, but it is messy, church. I'm going to put a little bit of, um, of my black paint in with my white paint. And I haven't got a stirrer with me, so I'm going to use my finger. Uh, get that in there nice and messy oh yeah oh this actually i'm not going to mix it too much because i think if it's all swirly the paint might be better for the sheep let's have a go are you ready one two three we'll get a nice lot of paint on there perhaps scrape a little bit off now then let's see if we get a nice sheep shape oh yeah and a nice dirty grey sheep shape it is too. <laughs> Let's do another one. And another one. Oh yeah. Sheep look like clouds anyway, don't they? <laughs> there we go. Superb. Now then. I'm going to make all my sheep for, look the same direction. Now for this bit, you use your fingers again. And you can use your little finger, whichever one you think is the right shape. I don't get too much paint on there. And what we're going to do now is we're going to make the legs. We're going to go one, two, three, four, and a bit for the face. And the face you can might want to squidge about a bit because you want your face to be a bit bigger, don't you, than your feet. And like I say, all my sheep are going to be going in the same direction. The reason for this is because they're following Jesus, like the psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He will lead me. And so if he's leading them, they'll all be going in the same direction, I think. So that's my sheep. And I think you'll have a lot of fun doing this. And actually, you don't have to do white or grey sheep. You can just use whatever colour paint you, perhaps you've got laying around. I, I think some red sheep would look quite nice, don't you? Make a nice flashy uh, sweater out of that wool, wouldn't you? Right, so there's my sheep. Now then, before I carry on, and before you carry on, I, it is a good idea to wash your hands. 
uh, I'm a bit far from a basin at the moment so I'm just going to use a cloth there we go and we all know how important it is to keep on washing our hands right I will get rid of all of that because I'm gonna make another craft which hopefully you'll enjoy making there we go right and this craft is a badge making or a rosette making craft and I'll show you my rosette here there we go because the good thing about a badge it goes wherever you go now I don't know if you can tell perhaps I'll show you on this one it says love and goodness on it love and goodness or goodness and love and in the song or the psalm we hear that God's goodness and love goes with us wherever we go so I thought if we had a badge we could pin it on and it could go with us all the time so that we can be reminded that God's love and goodness goes with us too now these are really easy to make now you can do lots of different um, badges you don't have to do the rosette with all the frills around the edges um, you could just do a plain badge and stick some stickers on it or uh, color it in all sorts of things but for this all you need is a circle cut out from uh, perhaps a cereal box or if you're lucky enough to have some crafting card at home um, cut it out of a bit of card doesn't have to be perfect my one certainly isn't it's a bit of a funny shape looks a bit squashed but that's okay now we also need some glue and now this is a really messy messy church because not only have we had squidgy paint which we've got everywhere we've also got their squidgy glue uh, this is probably the best glue for this um, but you could use a glue stick now then what you do is you go all the way round the edge of your circle and make sure it's all spread out it's kind of hard to get the right amount you don't want too much because otherwise it will keep dropping off and if you don't have enough it won't stick so you get yourself a nice strip of paper uh, now tissue paper or crepe paper is best for this if you can get it um, so I'm going to now I've got quite a long bit here and I'm not going to cut it I'm just going to stick the first bit on like so and then I'm going to fold it like that at about halfway the same length and make a little pleat so they call it and just keep folding it over like this going all the way around almost like making petals on a flower I suppose and the good thing is because the glue isn't dry if you make a mistake you can just start again okay and we keep on going all the way around folding it sort of half and keep on going takes a while I'm not doing it very carefully because I'm I'm rushing because I don't want I don't want to bore you with me doing this for hours on end <laughs> it would be boring wouldn't it so I'm just going to do it very quickly right to the end there we go and then when you get just cut a bit extra overlap and then you can finish gluing it there we are and then press it down all the way round just to make sure that glue's really stuck okay and there we are what do you think a nice rosette now so all you've got to do is write the words goodness and love in the middle and then you can put a tail on it too tails really easy you just need a couple of bits of crepe paper you could even use card I suppose doesn't really matter so much for this bit now to make it really fancy pants you cut a triangle out of the bottom like this again if you're not great with scissors ask a grown-up to help you so you cut a little V shape out of there that's it and now by putting them together like that you should have exactly the same and then you can either cut them in half 
and stick them on individually or actually I think that's probably the best way that's the way I'm going to show you because it, the other way is a bit fiddly so if we just blob some glue in the middle there we are one on there and you want them sort of not so they're overlap it's sort of like um sort of like another triangle really there we go and then they should just hang down underneath like that like a tail now i can have two rosettes now and uh, all i've done to stuck my stick mine on with is is get some sticky tape and make a uh, sort of like a, a circle out of it stick it to the back and then stick it to me you've got safety pins you can use that um if you don't want to walk around wearing a big badge all day long maybe you can persuade your parents to put it on um on the passenger side of the dashboard that way whenever you're going out on the journey you remember that uh, god's goodness and love goes with you so that's our craft for today um i have another suggestion for a craft but i'm not i haven't got anything here to uh, to do it with at the moment but i suggest perhaps on a drier day going out into the forest and seeing what you can find some pine cones some acorns and making some pictures with that because this um psalm is all about going on a journey and going on a journey with god so yeah you can bring all those bits and pieces bits of leaf twig loads of things and make pictures with those you might need to dry them first um perhaps in the airing cupboard if you've got one or on a windowsill but those are some ideas for crafts but now we're going to go into the church uh, where jim is waiting for us and we're going to actually have the story and the worship in there see you in a minute well welcome into church everybody and uh some of you may know jim already and jim what's the matter i'm scared is that why you're shaking uh-huh you sure you're not cold no i'm terrified you're terrified well what scared you jim it's dark outside i don't like the dark <laughs> jim can, could you stop shaking <laughs> it's all right there's definitely to be terrified but i'm really scared and, 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 and later on I, my mum my mum wants me to go and put the recycling out she wants you to put the recycling out that's very good that's good because it's good for the planet yeah and it's good because you're helping your mum you're doing a good job yeah that 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 it's dark and i had to go outside all by myself all the way down to the end of the drive and it's spooky oh spooky yeah i don't know this time of year it's so spooky there's lots of shadows and stuff well don't worry jim you don't have to be frightened of shadows don't i no you don't have to be frightened at all because god goes with you does he yes he does i tell you what shall we get kevin the sheep along and he's going to read a special psalm a, a, a psalm a psalm what is that like salami no it's not like salami no a psalm it's a special song there's a whole book of them in the bible and most of them were written by king david well, what's he know about being scared well actually this is the same king david who fought to the giant goliath but he wasn't scared well i imagine he was scared but he knew that god would fight for him anyway let's read this psalm shall we come then kevin kevin this is a psalm of david and it's all about the lord being my shepherd and i should know about it because i'm a sheep all right okay <clears throat> the lord is my shepherd i lack nothing he makes me lie down in green pastures he leads me beside quiet waters he refreshes my soul he guides me along the right paths for his name's sake 
Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. <laughs> you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. And you anoint my head with oil. Mm. And my cup, it overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So there you go. A Psalm of David telling us that we don't have to be afraid because God is always with us. Which was your favourite bit of that, Jim? I'm not sure. Um, I kind of like, I kind of like having dinner, even though my enemies are around me. That is good. Yeah, God's going to uh, allow us to be safe, even when we're surrounded by enemies. Yeah. And uh, what about that bit where he's going to anoint your head with oil? Yeah, it's a weird thing to do. Well, it was a kingly thing to do, actually. And it meant that he was making sure that you were safe, that you'll be anointed with oil. And in fact, anoint the oil is also a sign of the Holy Spirit, which means that he was going to cover you in his Holy Spirit, in his presence. Oh, does that say it means he's going to be with me all the time? Going to be with you everywhere you go. I don't feel nearly as scared now. Don't you? No. <laughs> In fact, I feel a bit silly. Oh, there's no need to be, be feel silly. We all feel scared sometimes. Even you. Even me. And that's why I have to re remember things like Psalm 23 and say it to myself. That, and to remind myself that God's goodness and love goes with me wherever I go. Sure. Oh, that is awesome. It is awesome, isn't it? So shall we pray now? Yeah, let's pray. Okay then, Jim, off you go. I'm going. I'm back. No, Jim, go sit down. Right, okay, so shall we pray? And why don't we say a prayer with candles? Because that will remind us that Jesus is the light of the world and his lightness spreads out even into the darkest of places. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, we light these candles to remind us that you are here with us. Help us always to remember that you are the light of the world, and help us to shine with your light all the days of our life. Amen. And Jesus, help us to remember, even when we go through tough times, or when we are frightened, we have no real reason to fear because you are with us. Thank you for that, Lord Jesus. Please be with everyone who is scared or worried at the moment, Lord Jesus. Amen. And now, shall we sing a song together? And one of my favourite songs to remind me that God is light and Jesus in particular is the light of the world is this little light of mine. So shall we sing it together? Brilliant. Yeah. 
Well, I hope you all managed to sing along with that at home. Now then, shall we say the messy grace together? Because although we're not together in one place, it doesn't matter because God is everywhere through his Holy Spirit. So he knows that we're saying this prayer together. So then, the words will come up on the screen for you. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us evermore. Amen. Well, thanks so much for coming in or coming along online to our messy church. And we hope to see you all soon. Take care. God bless you all. Bye.